So before installing PyCharm, make sure you have uh, Python installed on your Mac operating system. So to check that, you can just uh, open the Spotlight and then uh, search for uh, Terminal here and then open the terminal and in the terminal you can uh, just uh, write python here and then space hyphen hyphen version and you will be able to see python uh, 2.7 version and if you also have uh, python 3 then you can check uh, this by using python 3 space hyphen hyphen version and it's going to show you the version of uh, Python 3 on your Mac operating system. So you can see I have installed uh, the Python 3 and uh, Mac already have I think Python 2.7. So make sure you have uh, Python installed on your Mac operating system and once you uh, have Python then we are good to go and we are ready to install PyCharm on our Mac operating system. So just open your favorite browser and search for uh, PyCharm and then click on the first link which will appear here which will be from uh, jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So JetBrains is the company behind uh, PyCharm and other popular IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA and Android Studio. So I'm going to just click on this link and then you will be able to see uh, directly this downloads button here so i'm going to just click on this download button so now uh, you will be able to see uh, mac already selected here and pycharm has two versions one is the professional version and other is the community version so we are going to choose the community version which is free and open source to use so just click on uh, this button which says download and once you click on the download button it's going to start the download of this dmg file so i'm going to just wait for the download to complete so once this pycharm community uh, dmg file is downloaded i'm going to just click on this dmg file and i'm going to minimize my browser and you will be able to see uh, this kind of window so the process is really simple you just need to uh, select this pycharm ce file and then press command button and then drag this icon into your applications folder so press command and then uh, drag this icon into the applications folder which is going to uh, copy this uh, into the applications folder so once this is done pycharm is installed on your mac operating system so i'm going to go to the launch pad and i can see the PyCharm CE icon. So just click on the PyCharm icon from here which is going to launch the PyCharm IDE on your Mac operating system. So for the first time when you start your PyCharm application it's going to show you this kind of warning which says a PyCharm CE is the app downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I will just click on open button and then the installation of PyCharm IDE will start. So first one is the JetBrains uh, privacy pro policy. So if you agree with this, just check this checkbox and then click on continue. And you can see uh, this option which says uh, data sharing. So I'm going to just click on don't send. So you are going to see uh, this kind of window which says customize PyCharm. I'm going to choose, I have never used PyCharm and then click on the next option which is the UI theme option. Here I'm going to choose the dark color theme. You can also choose the light theme uh, if you want and then click on uh, launcher script. On this next page, you will see uh, this option which says create launcher script. So for now, I'm going to leave everything as default. I'm not going to check this checkbox. If you want, you can uh, check this checkbox, but I will leave it as default unchecked and then click on uh, the next option. And here you can uh, add some other uh, plugins into your PyCharm IDE. For example, uh, IdeaVim, if you want to uh, uh, install the support for R language, you can install that and the AWS toolkit also. I will leave everything as default and then click on start using uh, PyCharm button, which is going to start this uh, PyCharm IDE. So for the first time, if you haven't created any project in PyCharm IDE, the process is really simple. 
you just need to click on a new project button and then give the name of your project by default it's python project which is uh, fine for me because i just want to test but if you want to change this name you can change this name anytime you will also see the location where your pycharm project will be uh, saved also you have the option of uh, creating the new virtual uh, environment using virtual env uh, just leave it as default uh, and then you will be able to see the base interpreter right so i have as i have shown you i have installed uh, 2.7.16 and i have also 3.8.5 version of python so using this interpreter you can choose all those uh, python versions uh, which you have installed on your mac operating system so i'm going to choose uh, python 3.8 and then click on the create button which is going to create this uh, project for me and then it's going to show you uh, some tip of the day you can close this and then you can see a uh, creating virtual environment and once your project is created you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, window here so you will be able to see the project name which you have uh, created and you will see the main dot py window and here you have some sample code uh, which says hi and the name and the name which we have passed to this uh, python method is pycharm so if you want to run this uh, you can just click on this green button which is going to run your uh, python script using pycharm and show the result into this pycharm terminal so it's that easy to uh, use pycharm ide you can also uh, change the script for example pycharm ce and then save this script and then uh, just run it once again and it's going to just uh, give you the result in the terminal so this is how you can install pycharm on your mac operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video